God will take care of his servants. When we put on the armor of God, we show the enemy that we are God's servants. God will take care of his servants. We serve God when we are faithful to him. We can serve God by showing respect and serving others. We stand for God when we put on the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, and hold the sword of the Spirit up high. And don't forget to put that helmet of salvation on and hold up the shield of faith to protect you. And the gospel shoes of peace, we need those peaceful shoes so that wherever we walk, we can walk in peace. Today's lesson is found in the book of Daniels, chapter 6, entitled Daniel in the Lion's Den. Daniel he trusted and served God. King Darius was a powerful king. The princes were crybabies. Wah, wah, wah. They cried a lot. They were jealous. And then they had a law that could not be changed. The lions. We don't want to forget about those lions. Oh, they were ferocious, hungry lions. Really, really hungry. Daniel was a Jewish man who was taken into captivity by King Nebuchadnezzar. Even in captivity, Daniel loved and served God alone. Then a new king named King Darius was on the throne and in charge. The king had a lot of work to do, so he appointed 120 princes, 120 crybabies all over the whole kingdom. King Darius noticed how Daniel worked hard at everything he did for his kingdom. So he put Daniel in charge of all the crybaby princes. The king did not realize how faithful Daniel was to his God. Three times a day, Daniel opened the window of his room and prayed to God. No matter what time of day or how he felt, or what duties he had to do, Daniel always prayed three times a day. Daniel trusted God, and as long as the king didn't ask Daniel to do something against his God, Daniel served King Darius faithfully. Then one day trouble began. Oh no, can you imagine those crybaby princes? They noticed the special attention King Darius gave to Daniel and it made the crybaby princes jealous. They watched Daniel carefully, hoping to catch him doing something wrong. They wanted to get him in trouble with the king. But Daniel was spotless. No matter how hard they tried, they never found him doing something wrong. Daniel continued serving the king and doing an awesome job. Meanwhile, he kept on praying three times a day as he trusted and served God. Those crybaby princes became angrier than ever. They were determined to get Daniel into trouble with King Darius. One day, while walking by Daniel's window, one of the crybaby prince heard Daniel praying to his God. He didn't think much about it until the next day when he heard the same thing. Suddenly, an evil idea came to him. He ran to tell the other crybabies, I found something Daniel does that might get him into trouble. The crybabies eagerly heard the plan. Did you know Daniel prays to his God three times every day? Three times a day, every day? We must go tell the king. O oh, king, O oh, king, O oh, king, they said, you are so mighty and powerful. We think you should make a law that for the next 30 days, 
No one can pray to another God other than you. If they break this law, they should be thrown into the lion's den. By the way, one of the crybabies said, since you are so awesome, this law should be made according to the Medes and Persians, which cannot be changed by anyone. All the crybaby princes nodded in agreement. All right, let's do it, King Darius was so excited. So the law was signed and proclaimed throughout the land. The king did not realize how the law would affect his favorite advisor, Daniel. Daniel knew what the law said, but that didn't stop him. The next day, Daniel opened his window, knelt on the floor, and prayed loudly to God. Sure enough, the jealous crybaby princes were listening. They ran to King Darius. Oh, mighty king, oh, powerful one, someone has already broken your new law. It's Daniel. King Darius realized he had been tricked but his law could not be changed. Sadly, he ordered Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den, just as the law had demanded. All night long, the king paced the floor. He couldn't sleep. So early the next morning, King Darius ran to the lion's den. Oh, Daniel, he shouted, did the God you trust and serve save you? A voice rang out of the darkness. Yes, King, my God, whom I trust and serve, has sent an angel to shut the lion's mouth. Daniel was alive. Daniel trusted God. His trust in God made him serve God. He was not afraid to pray and serve God, no matter what happened. Daniel is an example of trusting and serving God through hard times. Let us pray. Father, we just want you to know that we trust you to help us with all of our needs. We trust you to help us to repent. Lord, we want to serve you in good times and in bad times. Lord, we trust you to give us the courage to go down in your name. We will serve you as Daniel did because we know you care for us. We trust you, Lord, that you are going to give us the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen.